Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another Tip of the Week video. Another question from Dave Price in Massachusetts this week, and Dave asks, do you recommend that people start shooting family videos in 4K rather than HD in order to future-proof their memories? Now, this really only applies if you have an iPhone 6S, a 6S Plus, or the new 9.7-inch iPad Pro. By default, these devices will shoot in 1080p, but if you go into Settings, Photos and Camera, there's an option to switch on recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. Now, 4K, or UHD as it's sometimes called, is four times the resolution of 1080p. It's twice as high and twice as wide, giving you four times the pixels. Now, this has several benefits. Uh, the video quality is fantastic if viewed in its native resolution. There are more colors and greater definition. However, it is possible to capture in 4K and then output in 1080p. If you downscale at the lower resolution, it still looks fantastic, but you have some extra benefits in that you can reframe the video, you can do super smooth pans and zooms, as well as stabilize the video without losing too much of the image. Plus, you can save an 8 megapixel image from a single frame of your 4K video. So let me show you across on the Mac and iPad just how easy it is to edit 4K video and show you some of the benefits. So across on the iPad first, I've actually got some footage that I've taken with an iPhone 6S Plus. So it's in full 4K. Uh, I can edit this using iMovie quite easily. Uh, I've already downloaded the clip from my iPhone. It was stored in iCloud and I've downloaded it to iMovie, but let's go ahead and create a project first. So I'll create a full movie project and I'll just use the modern theme. Okay, if I go to downloads, so this is the clip that's been recently downloaded. If I select the clip, and I'll just drop it into the timeline. So this is shot in 4K, so it's a really nice crisp resolution, but unfortunately, uh, schoolboy mistake, I actually have my thumb here, or rather my finger, over the lens. So you see the top part is actually being obliterated by my thumb. Uh, not very good. So what I will do, um, let's split the clip. Let's split the clip, say there. If I select the clip, swipe down, that splits the clip for me. So I'm just working on this first part of the clip. If I tap into the clip, you see there's a small plus button here. I tap on there. I can now pinch to actually crop and to move the video around the frame. Don't forget this is full 4K resolution. So if I go to say there where the, uh, the elephant man with the cake is, I can now play that. And as I play, the thumb or the finger is completely out of the frame. So let's go across over to the Mac and have a look how we can manipulate 4K video on the Mac. So I've got my MacBook Pro. I have uh, iMovie running in the background. Let's just bring it to the foreground and let's create a new movie. Uh, I'll go ahead and just use the standard bright theme for now. Now I have access to the same iCloud library as on my iPad, but uh, I have optimized versions already downloaded and ready to go on my Mac. Uh, what I will do though is I'll use the same uh, video clip that we had before. Okay, so I will actually select the whole clip and we'll add this to our timeline. So we still have the fingerprint at the front. Don't forget, this is a new project. It's not the same project that we worked on on the iPad, but I've got my finger at the beginning, but here towards the end, I've, I haven't framed it very well. It's sort of off to the left. So because this is full 4K resolution, I can reframe. Uh, I can even do a zoom as well at the same time. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's say from about here, if I uh, just go to Command B to split the clip. Let me just highlight that clip again. Command B. There we go. I'm just going to work on this clip here. Let's get rid of these titles. We don't really want the titles on. And let's say I want to, from about here, sort of start to zoom in so that I have a nice zoomed in shot around here. Now the way I do that is to select the clip, go up here and select crop. And this time we want to use Ken Burns, which allows us to zoom both in and out. You'll see there are two frames. The first one is the start and there's an end frame as well. So at the start, it will be a full frame and at the end of the clip it will be just this smaller frame. But I can actually go a bit further, I can actually move this end frame and perhaps rescale it as well. So if I just drag this corner in, make it nice and tight. So now when I go to the beginning of the clip, I have the full frame and that will zoom in to a nice tight shot. Let's just play that. Okay, perhaps I needed to uh, reduce the size of the clip, but you can see there how it zoomed in just to the, uh, the, the, the featured part of the frame. 
Now, the only downside to having 4K video files is that they're much larger than 1080p files. For instance, one minute of 1080p is 130 megabytes, whereas one minute of 4K video is 375 megabytes. So you may need a bigger iPad or iPhone. Plus, of course, it will take longer to upload your video and also take more of your iCloud storage. But even with these downsides, I'd still recommend shooting in 4K, not just for future proofing, but for the flexibility it gives you, especially if outputting in 1080p. Now we'll have more on video workflows in a future episode, but don't forget there's a whole series of detailed iMovie and Final Cut tutorials for both the Mac and iPad or iPhone over at screencastonline.com and in the SEO Showcase app. But that's it for this week. Uh, don't forget you can receive a full video tutorial each week by becoming a Screencast Online member over at screencastonline.com or check out the SEO Showcase app on the iPad, iPhone and Apple TV. That's it for this week. I'll speak to you next time.